Hi guys, welcome back. In this lesson, we will create a system DSN for MongoDB. So this will allow us to be able to use MongoDB via the ODBC driver from all applications that have access to this DSN. Okay, so let us open up the start menu. Okay, and then we search for ODBC okay and you should be presented with the ODBC data sources we select the 64-bit one okay and then we will see this diagram okay so the next thing that we need to do is select system DSN okay so as you can see I've already created mine okay but to create a new one we select add and then this screen will show up we will be selecting the ODBC 1.3.0 the ANSI driver okay and then select finish okay then you will be presented with the ODBC configuration so we add a data source name you can name it anything i've named it mongo db bi connector and then the next thing that we do is we add a tcp ip server which is localhost okay and then the port that we will use is 3307 okay so once we have that don't do anything yet we first need to start the mongodb bi connector which will be running on port 3307 so let's locate the mongodb bi connector so we right click and then we select file explorer then we go to this pc we go to the c drive and then we go to program files we search for mongodb select that and now you can see we have our odbc drivers we have our mongodb server as well as the connector for bi so let's open up the connector for bi and then we open up the bin folder okay so we want to start the mongo sql d.exe right this one so we double click on that okay and then this command line window will open up for us okay so basically the mongodb bi connector is running so as you can see our database name is showing as well as the collections which is print results quake freak and then quakes so we also have it running on localhost port 3307 okay so we can minimize this so now our MongoDB BI connector is busy running. We can close this. You're welcome to create a desktop shortcut as well if you want. So it's running on 3307 on localhost. And now let us test. Okay, so connection successful. We managed to connect to our MongoDB BI connector. Select OK. OK. And then once you have this information, just select OK. So I'll cancel because I've already created it. And then your system DSN will show up in system data sources. So now this data source is available for any application that is installed on this machine okay so now you can select okay 
So now we have created our system DSN for MongoDB. Now we should be able to connect to the system DSN from whichever reporting tool that we use. Okay, so thanks a lot for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next video.